Recently, I've been doing a lot of work with AnyChart. While the built-in charts in Mendix are helpful and useful, sometimes I need to create combination charts or other charts that just are not easily created with the out-of-the-box chart widgets. AnyChart is very flexible and enables you to create uh, anything you would like with charts within reason. The first step that I've found is useful in using any chart is to go to the Plotly uh, Chart Studio, which will help you create the chart that you want to create. And then once you create that, you can export the JSON so you can build the structure needed inside of Mendix. I realize that this URL is kind of small, so I'll put it in the notes about the video. But basically from the, the chart studio in Plotly, I can pick uh, a lot of different kinds of um, graphs that I might want to create with any chart. And if I say edit chart, what I will get is uh, I'll get a live tool that will enable me to make changes to colors, layouts, um, structure, style, ever, basically everything about this chart I can change within this uh, chart studio. And then once I'm happy with my chart, I can come to the export section and export HTML. After I export HTML, I will open that in an editor that I use. I happen to use Notepad++. You can use any uh, good programming editor that you are accustomed to. And if I scroll all the way to the bottom of this HTML, what I will find is the JSON that I'm after. So here's the data JSON, which is the first piece that you need. If I copy that, come into Studio Pro, create a new JSON structure, and paste that in here, I can see that I get all of this uh, structure in, in my JSON. <laughs> Likewise, uh, typically, I do need the layout for this, and so uh, I will come, I believe, just to here and get the layout. I'll create another JSON structure. Paste in my... Uh, JSON, and now I can use the JSON uh, data and layout. Oops, uh, let me do this. The JSON data and layout to create imp uh, sorry export mappings that think that can then be used to create the JSON that any chart will need in order to uh, create a chart that you would like to have in your application. I wanted to share this tip with you because the other alternative is uh, to go through uh, Chart Studio and make changes in Chart Studio and then actually look at the JSON and use that to uh, hand create JSON inside of your application. But I've uh, learned, I've discovered that it's far easier to be able to export that JSON. Um, it just saves me an awful lot of time. So hopefully this will help you as you are uh, creating any charts. In a subsequent video, I'll walk through an example of how I can create a microflow to actually populate the data in any chart to create the chart that I would like. Hope you found this helpful.